I'm David Essex, Editor-at-Large at Search ERP, talking about digital twins with Maurizio Torsini, Chief Product and Technology Officer at Grupo Cimbali. The manufacturer, which is based in Italy, uses Altair Digital Twin software to simulate and test its commercial espresso machines. To learn more about Digital Twins, click the link above or in the description below. I guess just to start, I'm wondering uh, why Grupo Chimbali got into using Digital Twins. What was your motivation for doing that? Uh, okay, so uh, first of all, uh, let me say that Grupo Chimbali uh, always aims to offer innovative products of and uh, products of superior quality, what we say. And uh, coffee machines are very complex systems. Uh, we do have hydraulics, um, mechanical, electrical, intricate connection. So what we, we had in our mind is how we can improve the way of designing our machines, how we can optimize uh, uh, our machines in terms of the in terms of components in terms of try to market and so we we decide to go into this uh, this technology to take advantage from that can you describe the how the sort of the digital twins ecosystem works or the the sort of the architecture like um what feeds into in what way from let's say your cad to to alter activate and then what do you do then with that data or that file that digital yeah. twin. Mm -hmm. So if, if I, let's say, if I say in a nutshell, what we do with digital twins, uh, we translate our machine and all the physics that is a behind a cup of coffee into parameters, okay? So it's a parameter models that physically, actually virtually reproduce the machine from a, an energy perspective. Uh, so, and then playing with all these parameters, we uh, can simulate the performances uh, of our machines. So in uh, making a coffee, making a cup of uh, hot water or whatever. And um, we use this data in order to optimize the system. What happened in the past, it was um, a sort of uh, trial and error approach. So having the having the, um, the specification of the model we uh, we define the parameters making a prototype and started to optimize uh, but with a virtual model we can simulate uh, really a lot of configurations so that at the end of the day uh, the configuration that we decide to use is the optimal one could you tell me what you're doing with internet of things now and whether the digital twins interface in any way with that technology? Yeah, <clears throat> so in, um, for what concern uh, IoT, uh, I can say that uh, Grupo Chimbali has been one of the first, if not the first in this industry to introduce telemetry. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm speaking about, uh, yeah, 10 years ago, more or less. So we started to implement this uh, connectivity in the market in order to allow our customer to control their machine, the, the, to control their fleet, mm -hmm. and, and also um, helping them to manage some of the parameters in remote. Mm -hmm. And uh, we already collected uh, millions of data uh, from the machine that we have installed. and. Uh, we want to now to make the next step. Uh, we are talking about uh, product as a service, so we want to be we want to be recognized from our customer as the best the best uh, partner for providing them the right solution for their needs. Mm -hmm. And IoT is for sure one of these. Okay, so we want to build services for them. We want to improve the quality of our products thanks to the IoT. Uh, we already have other solution in place uh, of machine to machine. So we can also uh, work together with our grinders and our traditional machines so that they can talk together and optimize the parameters according to the boundary conditions. 
What are, what um, are the two? What are the machines that are talking together? Like, what is it that talks to the coffee? Is that the, espresso machine? the grinder and what we call traditional coffee espresso machine? Okay, so the manual machine. Okay. So what do they what do they say to each other? Does the what does the coffee grinder say? I need more coffee. Yeah, or, it's yeah. Uh, according to some. So I cannot reveal, of course, which is the logic behind. But let me say, uh, according to what the grinder is understanding, is saying to the machine, uh, "Hey, change this parameter, change the pressure, change the temperature," or vice versa. Uh, according to some other parameters in extracting the coffee, the traditional machine can say to the grinder, change a bit the, the parameters of the grinding process and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm.